So I've been in my role as the qualification manager for a year, um, so I'm quite new to the role. But my predecessor had been looking at qualifications in digital marketing and had realised that there wasn't any NOS for digital marketing, any specific ones. There were only NOS for marketing and kind of a wider area. Um, and with digital marketing being an area of growth within Scotland, the UK, but also across the world, realised it was probably quite important to have some digital marketing NOS in place. The whole conversation started with uh, identification that the actual qualification is just about to expire. So I had a look on the NOS database and to my shock, I discovered that there actually aren't any at all. So my next question or stage was to see what the actual qualification was based on. So it was just some uh, old scraps from old NOS that were legacy now. So really, it was not based on anything. So I put that request for the commissioners to actually authorise that project for development. And it was authorised. So we actually bid for that tender and we've been successful. I got in touch with uh, Gail and um, that's how it all started. Lawyers and the... Uh training providers and engaged in a number of ways, weren't they, Larissa, because we had a focus group, so we kind of explained what NOS were, because I think quite often when um, the people who deliver qualifications, they see the NOS almost as a qualification, so it's trying to strip it back again to the NOS are the building blocks of the qualification. So it's, it's kind of building that awareness, um, so that was quite useful to do through focus groups. Yeah, so, and in addition to that, I also developed the online surveys, because that was a good way to structure the questions that we wanted to get the answers from. So people just, you know, answering the question, is this fit for purpose? What do you think is missing? You know, any other comments you've got? And all of that information gave us, you know, a lot of details that we could actually build on. So that was actually what I call meat on the bones. Um, we did consultation with um, a wider group of training providers and employers. So we consulted with them. We did a very thorough back and forth process of making sure that at each stage we were getting input from, from Larissa, from specialists and from providers. Um, and then we brought all that information together in order to produce the final NOS. So it was a, a constant process of refining. Because the last thing we would want to do is to launch the product that the employers would say, mm -mm, it's not good for us. Otherwise, we wouldn't have done our job. We would like to encourage um, training providers and especially employers to take part in consultations, not just to take up your time, it's really to be part of a very, very important uh, process that is just kind of mutually beneficial. It's about kind of seeing the bigger picture because the, the NOS do become part of job descriptions, they inform qualifications. So to be involved, I think, is, is really important that they gain an understanding of where this information comes from. To, so if they input to this consultation process, then we can make sure that the NOS are as accurate as it possibly can be. Your voice matters. Your voice is important. And that's what makes qualifications fit for purpose, makes apprenticeship frameworks fit for purpose and just keeps the whole wheel spinning. We now go into the process of um, updating our qualifications. So our digital marketing level six diploma and our level eight diploma, we're about to start um, updating those based upon the NOS and then it'll go into delivery. And I think hopefully the people who have been involved in the consultation along the way will appreciate the improvements that we've made. Working with Instructus and working with Larissa, I think, has been a really useful part of the process. I think we work together really well and I think that partnership working is, is really, really important. That was really beneficial. I agree with that because, you know, it's not just um, important work. It's also the, the excitement of building the good working relationship that what we've developed is the best it can possibly be.